In Hong Kong, a virtual bank is embracing stable coins and stable coin issuers by offering them banking services to actually back their stable coins. What is this going to mean in terms of maybe a Hong Kong dollar back stable coin, uh, various other stable coins back to anything other than the US dollar, and maybe the opportunity for Web3 startups in Hong Kong itself? We're going to talk about that today on the Blockhash podcast channel. So welcome back. Uh, make sure to check out our sponsor, Bump Social. They are building a social media platform that will be released here in April. It is amazing what they're doing for users, creators, um, brands, and influencers, as well as advertisers. Make sure to check them out. All links in the description below. Also, um, go to the YouTube channel and sign up as a member. If you sign up as a member, you'll get exclusive access to episodes and content before they come out, before anyone else gets a shot to see it. So if you want the exclusivity, you want to help support the channel, it literally costs a cup of coffee um, every single month, like $5. So it's nothing, guys. Um, check it out if you're interested in that perk, plus the other perks will slowly roll out. And if you want to help us stay funded. Um, okay. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and dive in to this article. Again, I will read through it uh, top to bottom and then give you my thoughts at the very end, like always. So the Hong Kong Virtual Bank, I believe ZA Bank, aims to push forward its presence in the Web3 industry by allowing local stablecoin issues ex access, issuers access to secure fiat reserve solutions. Typo there, Point Telegraph, got to fix that in the subtitle. Uh, in a move poised to accelerate local Web3 adoption, Hong Kong ZA Bank has announced that it will offer dedicated banking services for stablecoin issuers. According to the announcement on April 5th, the Hong Kong-based virtual bank is opening up security for fiat reserve, which issuers can use to back digital assets. Stablecoin issuers will also have access to banking services such as fund transfers, payroll management, and various deposit options. Devon Sin, the alternate chief executive of ZA Bank, said the institution has unwavering support for the Web3 community, stating, with these new services, we directly address we are directly addressing the unique challenges faced by stablecoin issuers, ultimately promoting growth and stability within the Web3 economy. Generally, for stablecoins to maintain their value, the issuer needs to securely store an equivalent amount of fiat currency, such as dollars and fiat reserves, it, uh, ensures that holders can always redeem their stablecoins for the equivalent amount of the underlying fiat currency. However, managing these reserves securely uh, has been a challenge for stablecoin issuers, hindering wider adoption and creating a major need in the greater Web3 community. Uh, ZA Bank has been actively trying to involve itself in Hong Kong's burgeoning Web3 scene, uh, 2023 reported over a billion dollars in transfer volume from clients in the Web3 space. In May of 2023, it announced it would begin offering virtual uh, re uh, retail virtual asset trading in the administrative region. One day after the Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission said it would start accepting virtual retail virtual asset trading platform license applications, the bank has since reported that it has secured more than 80% of the client banking needs of the virtual asset trading platform in Hong Kong. A lot of long name agencies here. Um, it also said it's working to onboard more than 100 Web3 companies in its efforts to push for local adoption. And in December, the Hong Kong government announced that it would oblige stablecoin issuers to obtain licenses. According to a consultation paper from the Financial Services and the Treasury Bureau, the FSTB, and the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the HKMA. Uh, the criteria for obtaining such a license will entail full backing of all circulating stablecoins with reserves at least equal to the par value. Um, so this is fantastic. Hong Kong, you know, just keeps chugging along, um, working towards becoming one of those crypto hubs in the world. It's very friendly for innovation if you're a crypto Web3 blockchain-esque type company. Um, and I think uh, ZA Bank uh, as a virtual bank will just be one of the first to do this. Um, this is news that's not overly surprising to me, given the state of Hong Kong and the direction they want to take it, um, wanting businesses to come in, wanting investors to come in, wanting collaboration with the government as well. And then, you know, lifting rules and regulations so that they can experiment, do stuff. It brings money, huge influx of money into Hong Kong. You've seen this happen already in Singapore, uh, the UAE, um, in, for a long time in the U S until regulations got stricter. Um, certain parts of Europe, you're starting to see this happen like Luxembourg, Switzerland, but uh, Hong Kong is, you know, again, just they're being very open and they're allowing them to do what they want to try new things. Um, obviously, you need to have banks to have proper stable coins. You have to have the backing. That's how USDC works under Circle. Um, that's how Tether 
works, I guess, um, but in the same principle. And then, you know, um, Gemini, Dollar, and all these things. There's, you know, tons of stable coins out there, but th the main premise is you got to have some kind of custody, right? You got to secure the dollar. You got to have backing. The interesting thing here is they're doing it like actual cash, cash to dollar. Um, so not, you know, dollar equivalents, uh, not currency equivalents, not assets, not algorithmic bot trading of assets, like what happened with, with Terra Luna. Um, you know, this is something that's much more straightforward and one-to-one, -one, uh, physical cash to a stable coin. Now, what I'm curious about is, will this be a Hong Kong dollar backed stable coin? And I think it might be because I had a conversation with the Conflux network. We did an episode with them. Make sure to check that out where they talked about stable coin that they are releasing in Hong Kong. And I think maybe this has some relation and they also announced it not too long ago. So this news is coming out just a couple of weeks um, or a week after that news was announced. So I think a Hong Kong backed stable coin is coming this year. That's my prediction. Um, and I think the Hong Kong dollar is worthy of potential investment as well. If you're into Forex and trading currencies, like uh, this is not financial advice, but you know, something that I encourage you to learn about a bit more. I think it's worth taking a look at. Um, I would be curious in investing in other stable coins back to other fiat currencies because as much as I like stable coins and having my ability to tie it to a dollar, I don't like the US dollar. I don't have faith in the currency right now. The inflation scares me. It's not coming down. The Fed has not been in a position where they can cut rates. Jerome Powell has stated that. They're not going to do that anytime soon, probably. Um, and we just continuously see debt piling up. So I, I don't like the direction of the dollar and the real estate bubble in the US and the lack of an economy. Like they can't even recoup the drop the jobs that were lost during the pandemic. They they flaunt like 300,000 jobs, but that's not new jobs. That's just recovering old jobs. Like it's it's not getting us to where we need to be. Um, so I don't see the progress there. Why would I invest in the dollar? I don't want that's that's why I'm not even in the US right now. Um so this is a cool opportunity. I want to see it come to fruition and see it become legitimized. I think having stable coins uh, readily available in other fiat currencies will be very big for moving liquidity around. Keep in mind, it's easier to get your money into a stable coin and move it than it is to move the actual money through the bank. So for example, if I were to move $1,000 to Coinbase, and buy USDC and then send USDC to Europe. I could do it instantaneously. But to send my dollars to Europe, I'd have to convert it to euros and hope that the bank transfer um, isn't expensive to do it same day. And if I wait and do it for a lower fee or even for free, how long is that going to take me via wire transfer or any other method? So it's not as streamlined. And there's more and more options to not just on ramp, but also off ramp your stable coins into currency at a much faster rate and to save money. USDC, it's 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 free on Coinbase. I can sell my USDC on Coinbase, it doesn't cost me anything. Um, you know, and I think stable coins will be the best medium to supplement banking services here in the near future. And it's cheaper and it's faster. And it's just an instant solution. So of course they want to do this in Hong Kong with the Hong Kong dollar and it opens up potential inflows into Hong Kong dollars and into that stable coin potentially. Um, so this is very interesting. I like the direction of it. I think this is cool news and I think it's something you guys should also keep an eye on. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you have already. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good weekend. Cheers.